Welcome back. Hey, so today we're going to be reading Harold and the Purple Crayon, the birthday present from the Harold's Treasury book. So I hope that you guys are snug, listening well, and ready to learn what our good friend Harold the Artiste is going to draw for us today. So this is Harold and the Purple Crayon, the birthday present. Harold could not sleep. His mother's birthday was the next day. Harold didn't know what to get her. He wanted to find the perfect birthday present. Harold didn't think he could find it in his bedroom, so he picked up his purple crayon and set off on an adventure. Harold decided to go for a walk. He drew a path and started on his way. Harold drew a tree. It was such a nice tree. Then he drew one more, and then one more, and one more. Soon there was a forest. Harold walked under the trees. They were so tall, they stretched to the sky. But Harold didn't know which way he was going. So Harold climbed to the top of the tree and he looked in every direction, but he could not find a way out. Harold knew what he had to do. He drew a bird and flew to the edge of the forest on the bird's back. Harold came to a stream on the other side. He saw a big field of flowers and Harold drew a bridge and crossed over to the other side. Now the sun was high, it was very hot, and the flowers were sleepy and droopy. The flowers needed water. Harold reached as high as he could and drew a big rain cloud in the sky. Well, he's taking very good care of the plants. The cloud blocked the sun and drip, drip, drip. The rain came down from the cloud and Harold drew an even bigger cloud. Drip, drop, drip, drop. The rain poured down on Harold's head. Harold drew an umbrella as quickly as he could, and the flowers weren't thirsty anymore, but they still looked droopy. Flowers needed water and um, sun. Harold drew a gust of wind to blow the clouds away, and the sun sent bright rays of sunshine down to the flowers. One by one, they lifted their heads to the warm sunlight. Harold looked at the pretty flowers, and his mother loved flowers. Flowers would be the perfect birthday present. Now Harold had another problem. He couldn't take the whole field home with him. Harold had an idea. He thought of the perfect gift, but it was at home. How could he get back? Then Harold remembered that he could always see the moon from his bedroom window. Harold drew his bedroom window around the moon. Back into his bedroom, Harold realized that the perfect gift for his mother had been right at his fingertips the whole time. Harold would give his mother a flower. He knew she would love it. So she could keep the flower forever and it would, wouldn't need water or sunlight. When Harold finished the flower, he left the picture where it, his mother would see it. Then he climbed into bed. Then Harold dropped off to sleep and the purple crayon dropped to the floor. Harold and Lilac have fun together. Oh, let's see. The next book is going to be Harold Finds a Friend. So thank you for reading with me today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. See you soon. Read nicely.